Okay, here's our oil cooling nozzles. Um, these are particularly important. If they're plugged or they're aimed incorrectly or they're bent, they won't lubricate the piston and cool the piston. If you look inside here, there's a little hole. What I like to do is take some brake clean, make sure it's nice and free, and I've done that on all of them. Also on the bolts, there's some holes here. You want to try and get all the stuff out of them. All that gut coming out. Then I'll take some compressed air, blow it out. Make sure I feel air, feel air coming out the two holes there. I'll have to clean it up a little bit more yet. Anyways, that's clean. Then I'll do this one. It helps if you get a rag, put it in your hand. When you do this, then you don't get stuff everywhere. But I'm going to try and get my air nozzle in there. And that's not working so good, so I'll go this way. A little backwards, make sure there's nothing in it. Uh, and I'll do the same on all of all eight of these. And then we'll be ready to put them in. Okay, we're going to install our oil cooling nozzles. Here's what they look like. This hits directly in the hole on the bottom of the piston. This bolt oil comes in the center of it. And you see there's a hole there and a hole there. Uh, basically, the oil comes up the center. There's kind of a check valve in here of sorts. This threads directly into an oil gallery, pushes the oil through there into this gallery inside here, which sends it up to the cooling nozzle. There's no O-rings or anything like that on it. Easiest way to get these on is if you move your piston to top dead center. Basically, you're trying to get these crank weights out of the way. And then it goes in here like so. They're kind of tight to get in here. These blocks are pretty small. To get on the bigger engines are a lot easier. The biggest thing I need to make sure is that it's hitting correctly on the piston. If it's mis-aimed or if it got hit or bent, this is one of those things I can't stress enough. When you take an engine apart, when you pull pistons out, let me rephrase that, you always want to pull these cooling nozzles out because you run the risk of bending them if you don't. A lot of times an extension and a socket like this will help you get them in there. Crank weight's a little bit in the way. So pay special attention when you're putting it. Move it back and forth to make sure that the locating dowel is in the right spot. To this side, what I mean is right here there's a locating dowel. There's a hole right next to where it goes in that's got to sit in. 15 foot-pounds. I converted that to 180 inch pounds because my torque wrench only goes down to 10. What I did is I put a couple of bolts in the back of the crankshaft to allow me to turn it. And as I turn it, I'm going to watch where those cooling nozzles hit and I want them to be exactly in the center of their hole. You can see it on this one. On this side you probably can't see that. So I'll have to move my bolts over so I can turn it some more. Engine stands in the way on this one. It would be easier if I had the flywheel housing on and mounted on that. Okay, it's hard, it's hard to see, but here's our piston cooling nozzle. You see how this, the cooling nozzle goes down in there like that? And there's a hole in the bottom of the piston that needs to be aimed directly in the center of that cooling hole. If it's not, it's not going to lubricate the piston correctly and the engine will fail. Another thing to note here, I don't think I can get a finger in there to point at it, but well, I'm use my tool here. If you look right here, this piston cooling nozzle, how close that is to the crank weight. So it'd be very easy to knock one of those off if you got them incorrectly. You can see here on this one, but right here is the cooling nozzle. Right there, see how that is directly in the center of that hole? You want it to be there on all of them. There again, if it is not, it will destroy the engine. You can see right here, the cooling nozzle is directly in the center of the hole. Look how close it is to the crank weights. I mean, there's maybe 16th of, 16th to an eighth of an inch between the two. If those were bent, installed incorrectly, again, I can't stress enough that those are very, very important.